Hello, welcome or welcome back. Very close up on my face, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to stay within the view, the viewfinder. Anyways, welcome new viewers or welcome back returning viewers. Um, today, I promised myself that I would do at least one eyeshadow review every week. I actually did that already with the review of was it the ColourPop and Winnie the Pooh collaboration. So that, you will see that review on Monday already because this will come out on Friday. So today's review is another more, is the latest release from Milk Cosmetics and it is Gemini 2. Here's the packaging. So beautiful, the roses and the colors. So just, mm, I saw this and I'm like, yes, not. <laughs> I did not, I do not have the first Gemini, so when I saw they had a bundle deal you can get Gemini 1 and 2, I got both of them. So I'm hoping next week, as long as I, you know, you know, stick to my resolution, next week I will do a review on Gemini 1. But today is going to be Gemini 2 since this is the latest launch from Milk Cosmetics. Now, if anyone has tried Milk Cosmetics um, formula, one moment. Uh, mirror. I keep forgetting mirror. Oy. You think by now I would know that, but nope. But anyways. Anyone's tried Milk Cosmetics, you'll know that the formula is a little bit of a hit or miss. You know, some formulas are great and other ones, um, not so great. <laughs> so, yeah. We shall see if this is one that that the formula actually is good. Hopefully, fingers crossed it is. I will. I do have a gripe with Milk Cosmetics though. I bought this at I think $100, which is still a good bargain because I think the pads are $65, $75, so it's still like $30, $25 cheaper. But then I think within days of me buying this bundle, they discounted it. So instead of buying it for $100, they could have bought the bundle for $80. I'm like, I could, I'm like, really? Really? Mm. Nah, that pissed me off to no end. I mean, seriously, it, like, it, mm, it just, it irritated me. Because that's still $20 I could have saved. But no, they didn't do that when I, <sighs> yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> As always, the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base in Medium. Hopefully everyone's doing good. I did say I was, was going to go to Disneyland. I'm not going to Disneyland anymore because financial responsibilities. I'm an adult. I got bills to pay. Ugh, bills. But anyways, yeah. Let's just say with more financial uh, I have to be more financially mindful now, right now, until things start picking up a little bit more, then I just have to be more careful, and even though, yes, I have the extra money to go to Disneyland, because I do have the pass, so I only have to pay for the hotel, I do have the money to pay for the hotel, I still need to think about food, that's another cost, and I know myself, I'm probably going to buy one or two things, and if you buy anything at Disneyland, you already know, or Disney World, in general, just Disney, it's expensive, so, um, I canceled it for now, and I decided instead to pay, um, all my expensive bills for the next week, so when I get paid, all I have is the cheap bills left, and I can get a little bit of a hit on my bills for the week after that, so, that way, I'm a little bit less stressed out with the bills, again, the perks of being an adult. I know. I got the angle on this is horrible. Okay, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna adjust it so it's not so high. All right, guys, better angle. I'm not. You're not so high up on <laughs> on my head, so that's better. All right, so yeah, perks of being an adult. I will go back. I just have to wait till things become a little bit more financially stable for me. So, yeah. So there's no more mini vacation for now. But, 
there's always next time. I do not have a talking subject, which I try to have at least, I don't have a script, but I at least try to have a topic that I want to talk about, and I don't have one. I'm going to talk about the Johnny Depp trial. I'm just going to do it. Because, um, <laughs> I'm watching that. I, like, I literally, even, well, actually I don't watch it. I hear it. I hear the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, should I say, I hear it when there's actual people testifying. Like that day that they did the depositions, <laughs> they did like a half hour deposition, an hour and a half deposition. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. I am not hearing this because depositions are boring. So, yeah, I've been watching that. And uh, it's, wow, I feel sad. Here's the color scheme. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, I feel, I feel bad that all this dirty laundry is coming out. Like, this is your own private life being exposed for the world. I mean, come on, we knew Johnny Depp did drugs. I mean, come on, who didn't know he that he had he did drugs or had issues with them? Who didn't know that he drank? Oh my god, that is not headlines. I'm sorry people, but come on. We all knew that. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, some of the stuff that's coming up in the trial is like, okay, we've heard this. We've known this. You know, Johnny Depp's been very open about his, you know, past drug use. So, it's not shocking that, like... You know that he does have a history of drugs I mean come on that's not surprising that's not shocking and the same thing with alcohol I mean he owned the, the Viper room once upon a time I mean really oh sorry <laughs> I didn't tell you what shade I was I'm going with the shade Bella right here but I know the things that are coming out it's like okay you're not necessarily shocking me with anything and it's like why is this oh my god I can't believe like no so far like mm, you're not coming up with anything I'm not shocked or surprised about and hearing those audio clips too that's just sad I mean I'm not gonna lie, that videotape they showed when Johnny clearly was pissed about something, I think he testified that he couldn't recall what exactly he was so mad about that particular day. But yeah, the, the videotape of him, you know, slamming the cabinets, and I think he even broke one of the mirrors of, you know, the glass from one of the cabinets. I think I can't be sure and then the um, big old glass of wine he poured for himself but I'm gonna say this Amber Heard dirty plain and simple what she did because if you saw that video she's clearly hiding her I think she recorded it on her on her phone she was trying to hide the phone from Johnny to make sure that he wasn't seen I'm gonna put ladylike on top of Bella but he was, he did not know he's been recorded. And um she was being sneaky. She was trying to hide the camera. So Johnny didn't see it. And then of course Johnny saw it. And of course that would piss me off. I mean, he's already in a bad mood. You can clearly tell in the video he's not in a good mood. Something happened to piss him off really bad. And then for Amber to I'm going to say illegally court, record because California is a two-party consent when it comes to recording. He did not consent for her to, um, to record. He did not. So that illegally taped video, I don't even understand how it even got into court. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm on Johnny's side. I don't believe Amber. Everything, all the proof that they, all the testimonies... Even the cops say that when they had a, a DV call to Johnny's home, 
even they said that um, they didn't see marks, bruises. They could, they said, they could tell. Yeah, she was crying a lot, but that was it. Even the cops were like, we did not think that Amber Heard was a DV victim. So that tells you that cops who are legally bound to believe the victim whether male or female, doesn't matter the gender, when they claim that so-and-so, you know, hit me or victimized me, it is their job to believe them right away and arrest the person that they say did, did that to them. And even the cops didn't do anything because they didn't believe, they didn't see any evidence of it, any, of any kind of bruises, nothing. And then on top of that, the cops say that Amber's people didn't cooperate with them. They wouldn't say what happened, who did what. So how can a cop do their job if you're not going to open your mouth and say, this person did this to me? How? So I'm going to mix Sweetheart and Gemini's, these two shades right here. I'm going to try to use as many shades as I can. But yeah, that tells you that if a cop doesn't even, doesn't see a mark, What's over on you? I mean, that kind of tells you that you, you, I mean, that tells you. Now, even though I am on Johnny's side, that doesn't mean I'm going to disregard every piece of evidence. I'm not going to be that blind either. But, I'm just like, I, Amber's attorneys suck. Plain and simple, they, <laughs> they're horrible. Like when, Elaine, that's her name. <laughs> when she said Amnica, Amnica cream, I'm like, oh my God, that's not how you say it. Like, how are you a lawyer, a certified lawyer, and you can't even pronounce Arnica cream? But you can't, she kept saying Amnica, Amnica, Amnica cream. I'm like, oh my God, and she's a lawyer? Like, oh, no, no, no. If I was Amber, I'm just saying, if I was in her shoes and she was doing that, I'm like, I fired her. I need someone who knows, who actually knows how to read things. <laughs> I mean, that is crazy, guys. Like, just the mid... I, I don't know. The line of questioning, I don't get it. Like, the line of questionings that not only Elaine focused on, but Rottenborn. Is that, is that his last name? I have not want to have that last name. I'm just saying. I would have changed it. <laughs> but, like, the moments they're trying to present as a, aha, I got you, Johnny. I know you're lying. Is there fallout on this? Yes, there is, guys. It is quite a bit of pickup in the pan. I don't want to show you because it's going to tip over. But, I don't know, it's just, the moments they're saying, aha, I caught you, Johnny. I don't, it's like when they're focusing on his past drug use and current, I mean, let's just say he does smoke a, the green, uh, the green herb. I'm saying it like this because apparently YouTube has issues with saying certain words. <laughs> Give me one moment. Yeah, so YouTube has issues with certain words, so that's why I say DV for, let's just say, if you're watching the trial, you know what I'm saying, what I mean when I say that, and the green herb, you already know. So besides that, everything else is past drug, is, is his past, he doesn't do it, I mean, even, jo I mean, it's one thing if Johnny, I'm trying to clean up the mess up here, because I don't want my shirt to be stained with makeup. Like, like his past usage would be a big deal if Johnny was trying to deny it on the stand under oath. If he was saying, no, I used to do that, but I, don't, I didn't do that uh, t two years ago, three years ago. Or, you know, however long the duration of their relationship from the start until they finally got divorced. You know, if he was trying to deny all that, that'd be one thing. I would say, yes, they got Johnny because he's lying under oath. But no. In his testimony, in his direct, with even his own attorneys, he was like, yeah, 
I had issues with so and so. Okay, I'm gonna use Love Sick, and then I'm gonna put the shimmer of Schmood S H Mood S H Mood S H M O O D this shade on top of it. But you know, if that would be that would have been a, an aha moment, and Johnny denied that. No, I was not doing drugs during the time. You know, any kind of illegal or any kind of illegal substances okay I mean then that would have been a huge aha moment for them for sure because he's under oath and he's lying but he didn't lie he was honest and said no I was using so and so and this and you know whatever else he either was you know used from time to time or he had issues with and he was honest about it. So it just didn't make sense for me for the attorneys to um, focus on that. And then it's like they were trying to criminalize that Johnny smoked the green, the green uh, plant. It's like, it's like, why is that a big deal? I mean, <laughs> it is legal in the state of California last time I checked. It was legalized, so again, to say, oh my god, because he smokes the green, the green plant, he is, you know, he must be violent. It's like, or because he did this and that, he's this, he's violent. Like, I don't know, like, the, Amber's attorneys to me really put me off because they're trying to say when you have issues with any kind of substances or drinking it, it, they're trying to make this correlation that you must be violent you must you know it's like no that is not true okay I'm gonna put the shimmer like I said the SH mood it's just and then I also felt bad when Johnny was testifying about when he was detoxing how they went to his island I wish I had an island <laughs> god I wish I, that would be so cool but when you know they went to the island so he could detox from the opioids and when he said that he was feeling the the pain of the withdrawal Amber still Amber refused to give him the medication to help him you know to numb him to numb the pain and when he said he had to go to the shower and I think he said he put like scalding hot water on himself so he, he could trick his body into forgetting about the pain of the withdrawal like that was sad guys I'm like that poor man he's going through some heart you know detoxing I've never been through detox because I haven't I don't have issues with substance and things like that so I can't relate but I've been watching popcorn planet they've been doing a great job on uh, covering the case and recapping after the court session is done so I would highly recommend checking them out popcorn palette planet and um, When he said that, I was like, that is so sad. Like, this man's already going through a very difficult time going through this withdrawal. And, you know, the woman that allegedly loves you is withholding the medication to help, you know, with to help you with the pain. That's, like, so sad. Oh, another moment in the trial that got me was... The audio clip they had played, and um, I don't admit, <laughs> they had to be context before, you know, from the point that the lawyers had actually started, there had to be context before the starting point for the lawyers. But when Amber kept saying um, on the audio, couch, couch, 
You promised me two couches or something like that, or a couch, like... What the hell is going on with the couch? Like, what is going on? Like, that moment was like, oh my god, like, couch, 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 like... What is going on with the couch that you are literally repeating couch, couch for like... I think the recording was 45 seconds they played, and I think like 20, 25 seconds of it was couch, couch like what the hell is like seriously what is going on with the couch that you're like so, just repeating it i mean really <laughs> i just got like seriously points of this trial were funny some of it were like really sad but i'm honest even though yeah i do laugh in some of the moments like johnny if you watch the trial you see johnny's laughing too Okay, let's do the under eye. But if you do see the trial, even Johnny w was laughing at moments. And I, like I said, I don't watch the depositions, but w I saw like tiny bit of the end of the deposition by the, is, I think it's the doorman or something of one of the buildings that Johnny used to live at. I think, I don't know if he still lives there. I don't think he does. But, um, I don't remember who lives there or not, but whatever. I think it's like the doorman Alejandro Romeo, I think that's his name. Or something like that. Like, the fact that he was doing the deposition in the car. It took me a minute, like, wait. I was thinking when I saw it, I'm like, is he in the car? Like, seriously? He's in the car doing a deposition for... A court matter. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he was dressed up, yeah, but where is the other one? Hmm. I'm gonna use the for my under eye Lux LX Queen. That's literally the shade name. But um, when I saw he was doing the deposition in the car, I was like. Is he in the car? Really? Like, seriously? <laughs> and then, even though I only saw a little bit, a tiny bit of the end of that deposition, um, you can tell he was getting pissed at Elaine. Because I think some of the questions I came on was that she was asking about her makeup, whether or not... I think it was like, did he know what foundation she used? Did uh, he know what kind of concealer I think it was? Whatever. But, you know, different kinds of makeup. Like, do you know this shade? Do you know the shade of foundation she uses? Do you know this? Do you know that? Like, essentially all makeup questions. And you can tell the guy was just getting so irritated with her. Like... He was very sure, like, no, 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 no. And you can just tell he was just like, mm-mm. You could just tell he was getting so annoyed with Elaine. And it was funny, like, oh my god. And then, what was the last question? I don't remember. She asked the last question. Like, she said, okay, this is the last question I'm going to ask you. <laughs> And then I noticed on the deposition, he's driving away in his car. He starts driving when, she, like, as soon as Elaine say, said that, like, this is, okay, this is the last question I ask you. He starts driving in his car. He starts driving away from wherever he's at. And I saw that, I'm like, oh, wow, that guy was just... I mean, let's just say this, if he doesn't have a lot, he didn't have a lot of followers before the trial, he definitely have followers now because <laughs> that was just, that was funny, that was so funny, like, even Atlanta, like, wow, that was something different, and even the judge was like, yeah, I've seen a lot of things, but I haven't seen that, I, I mean, that was funny. There's been some funny moments in that trial, and of course, who didn't love Isaac? Like, oh my god. 
I loved Isaac. Like, it's just, I love Isaac. I think <laughs> Isaac, I think it's the most popular witness that they've had because she's so personable and... Uh, what are you? The... Uh, since I'm doing Melt, the Melt Cosmetics Supernatural Mascara. But I think Isaac is the most popular one too. This is going to be a chatty one. This could be 30 minutes long. But that hit like, oh my god. I loved that dude. And what I noticed about what the, uh, all the, what all the, everyone that testified, whether it was through deposition or whether it's through the deposition or through like a video um, testimony or in person. One thing I will say, what they say about Amber is that they all liked her. That she was very nice, cordial, friendly. So that's what I like about his witnesses, that they didn't trash talk about her. I don't know, that's probably the cat in the background. If you hear that. Okay, let's set this down. But that's one thing I like about his, I, you know, the, everyone that testified. From the depositions, from the video testimonies, and from the live person testimonies, everyone, everyone said that. is this but everyone said that so that's what I liked about his witness is that they didn't trash talk her at all everyone said that at first she was nice and cordial and that she had eventually started changing so I am gonna be open-minded though because I guess Johnny is Johnny's side is gonna be done presenting their case either sometime on Monday during the court day or the probably or they might take all day Monday and then I'm assuming Tuesday is the latest is when Amber side will present so I am going to keep an open mind like if they truly present something that's truly damning to Johnny that proved that you know to counteract everything that this that they said up you know everyone that testified on his behalf that contradicts the story or something I will be open minded and I will truly look at it. But right now, it ain't looking good for her. That's it, guys. Here's the final look. So, what is my opinion on this? Milk Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette. Ooh. I'm going to tell you, the fallout is... <sighs> There's fallout, to say the least. Uh, which I don't mind, but I don't like it when it ends up on my shirt. <laughs> oh. But. I like the formula. As you can tell, very pigmented. If you go with a light hand, then it's not going to be as intense. But again, if you see me do... <laughs> My eyeshadow looks, um, I like very intense looks. So I like it that it's already pigmented. Like it does not take a lot for you to go in and for the color to show up. So that's beautiful. So the formula on this, and how many colors do I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's 10 shades and I used seven of the 10. The only ones I didn't use were these green ones, but I used all these rosy pink colors. And even this one, the Bella, showed up. It was pigmented. It was right there. So, honestly, I like this palette a lot. The formula is great. It's not one of their misses. <laughs> that's for sure. Now, do I recommend to buy it at 
I think this is a 65 or 70 something. I, 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 or is it 50? Or is it 55? I don't remember. Is it 50 to 60 something dollars, I think. I think. Um, you can find, if you like this rosy pink color scheme, I am more than positive you probably can find this color scheme with ColourPop at a much cheaper price. And same thing, if you like the green, same thing. I'm pretty sure you can go into a ColourPop or an indie brand or drugstore brand and find this color green color scheme much cheaper price than Melt. But honestly, really great format for this one. Enjoy the color scheme. I mean, this is the look. So I recommend it, but you know what? I would wait for them to have a sale because like I said in the beginning, they had this off for 20% days after I had bought it for $100 and I could have bought it for 80 Oh, that annoys me to no end. So I would say if you're interested in getting into this palette, wait till they have a sale and see if this is going to be discounted. And I would say it's if you want to save money and make it more worth your money, wait for that. But honestly, I don't regret it. Still, mad as I am that I paid $100 instead of 80 the formula makes up for it. It's beautiful. It works well. It has the intense pigmentation I love. And so, yeah, I really like it. And I know you heard me ramble about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case. Now, I do want to say this. If you're on Amber's side, I respect that. Even though I'm not on her side, I'm on Johnny's side, I do respect that. And if you choose to watch this video, please don't leave a mean comment about the trial. Or that I'm wrong, or in that this, that, that. You know, I respect if you're on Amber's side. And please respect that I'm on Johnny's side. So, hopefully you enjoy this video. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Hopefully YouTube does not <laughs> give me issues with this video because I did say or try to avoid as much as possible saying certain words. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye.